Hi, it's Lynn from Lynn C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm going to make a card. It's a fancy fold card using the Seize the Day bundle. This is in the new mini catalogue that we've got out and it's on page 38. And it's got some really lovely stamps and then you've got all of these dies that go with it and so this is the prototype of the card that i'm making it's a I called it wrong the wrong thing when i shared it on my facebook page yesterday it's actually i called it a balcony card but it's not it's a bay window fronted card this was my kind of prototype and i realized after i'd stamped this that there wasn't any dyes so I had actually had to fussy cut those and then for the background I used um, a piece of retired designer series paper um, and then when I stuck this front bit on I'd stuck it on sideways so I had to do a little bit of a bodge job um, to cover up the seam because I'd put the anyway I'm waffling so I'll, I'll get on with what I'm using today so you've seen the stamp set and the dies. Um, I am going to use thick basic white. They are two the same size and this is five and a half inches by five and a half inches. One is scored at half an inch, two inches, three and a half and five. So these two side tabs are half an inch and then you've got equal spacing on these three panels here. I'm going to use this big die, pop that in the middle and die cut out of there. So here we go, let me show you. I just think it I just think this is absolutely genius. So it will very easily pull that off. You've got a couple of little circles to pop out there, but it leaves at that fabulous window which you can see into the back of the card. I've got my blending brush and I'm gonna do some blending and stamping on here. But for the background, I thought I would use some of this. So this is a product that you can earn for free during celebration. And it is called Simply Marvelous. So there's a mixture of those colors there. And I'm using the blue to recreate underwater. I think this is great for sort of top of the water but this to me is kind of an underwater effect but I'm going to stamp on that. I have got one other piece of thick basic white and this is going to go on here um, once I put it together and that will become clear um, that's sort of I'm not explaining myself very well and then I've got a tiny little bit of Sahara sand and I'm going to just quickly I want to tear that to create a little bit of a sandy that's going to go on the bottom there right so let's just pop that straight on Because it's exactly the same, the exactly the size of the piece of. Let's see, there we go. Exactly the same size as that that base. And then I'm going to do some stamping on here. So I've got some shaded spruce. I've got this die mount, this stamp mounted up, and I am going to do some stamping directly onto this DSP. down on that end and then I'm going to come back up and do full strength up there. Fabulous. Fill that in there. And 
And I'm going to pop that down. It's purposefully a little bit long. You can snip off the excess. Pop that down there. Make sure that's right on the edge. Lovely. And snip that off there. So that is perfect. And now I've got these two bits. So there are score the score lines. Let me just reinforce those score lines. Here's my bone folder, so let's pop that out of the way for a minute. I'm going to just reinforce those score lines. So we want a valley, and then we're going to have a mountain. We're going to have another mountain. We're going to have a valley. So that is our little bay window front. Right, put those back flat again. And I'm going to do some stamping directly onto here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of colour with my blending brush. What I'm going to do here is try and work out that is going to tuck under there when it goes onto the card. So I want to also do a bit of stamping on that one. Lovely. Yes. Lovely. And I'm going to start with Balmy Blue, which is the colour of the designer series paper that I use. I'm kind of just making this up as I go along, so you'll have to forgive me a little bit. Let's just add a little bit of colour. I wanted to try and make it with the the thick basic white and add colour because um, this is a thicker card and although my prototype works quite well I thought it couldn't do any harm to have a little bit of a little bit of a sturdier card stock. It's always lovely to try out a new unfold card. Oh, I worried that I hadn't restarted that. But I had. Phew. Okay. 
Now I hope wherever you're watching this from that you're well and staying safe in these very strange times that we find ourselves in. I'm going to do the same to this bit here so that it matches. Do might come in with a bit of pool party. Add in a little bit of different colour there. And I may even come in with a bit of coastal cabana. Definitely looks a little bit gr more greeny. Let's have a look. Definitely looks a bit more greeny, doesn't it? So let's stop with that. I may do is get a little bit of misty moonlight and see if I can get that. Looks a bit better. And that's the beauty of having the blending oh, the blending brushes. You can just keep adding colour until you're happy with it. It's a bit silly there, look. May have to put a little something over that. I can do a little bit of embellishing. It's because I'm trying to rush. I'm doing it quickly while I'm on, on camera. I haven't worked out how to increase the speed, which is a bit silly. That's better, isn't it? There we go, that's, I like that. I like that a lot. It was either colour on my light blue brush that I didn't uh, clean off properly. 
I need to re-ink my balmy blue because it's looking a little bit greeny or do you think it could have been because I'd stamped the didn't let the the uh my stamping dry first that's nice I like that right that's better going to go like that and stick on that end there that's better so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some double-sided tape or some of our tear and tape like that let's move that out of the way on the back of this two lines of that on there so that it's going right up to the edge there we go. I'm in a, in a really warm fleecy jumper I've been living in this thing and um, I'm getting a bit overheated now. So just line that up on that edge. But be a little bit careful because it's double sided tape. There we go, lovely. And then this will go down on that side on dimensionals and tuck in under there. So I think actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp, kind of, I'm going to do some more greenery there, just a little bit. Lovely. And then what I've done for the inside this time, so I need to build up my seam. And I've gone ahead and I've die cut a load of bits of bits that I'd stamped earlier. Um, I've got some starfish, I've got the octopus. Now I've done the octopus in pale papaya. This is in Sahara sand. I have got coastal cabana jellyfish. And I've die cut this out of pool party card. But you'll see I've already applied some ink to some of them. And I, I quite like, I liked the idea of not having them white. And then applying the some green. Let me get my green brush. It just gives them a bit of a two-tone colour. Let me, you do have to be a little bit careful. Just not do that. And this is shaded spruce so I'm trying to limit the number of colors I've used but I've used quite a few I do like it with the misty moonlight on the front
we go. I think that gives them a really nice colour, a different colour from the leaves that were stamped. So yeah, I wasn't sure. I also stamped a Sahara Sand Octopus, but decided not to go for it in the end. So we will use glue and then dimensionals to build up our little scene. And actually, I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to add a little bit of green to those bits there. So that they tie in a little bit. Lovely. And a little bit on that coral. I know that doesn't normally isn't normally green, but So, what have I done with my strip of clear? Um, we need to think about what is where. And actually, as I've got the Misty Moonlight ink out, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I've gone for the thanks i'm very tardy with my thank you cards this year christmas we're at nearly the end of january and i still haven't sent them out terrible hopefully oh look at that perfect sometimes it that doesn't work <laughs> I'm going to add this with some of my, these are the, the adhesive sheets, so um, I'm just going to do a couple of strips. going to be there so it is that side I'm going to go down that edge trim that off we can save that for another project Stick that on there, so that's on the edge, and then that little bit will tuck on under there to help the card stand up. Is the plan? So we want to build up our little scene, and I'm going to oh, the plan was. To use a little bit of Tombow now I'm trying to do this so that I'm being quick. That. Taking off a little bit of excess, you do get a little bit sticky, but 
And I'm going to pop that one down there and then trim off. And I'm going to pop something over that so you won't see there. So I'm going to pop dimensional just on the head of our octopus and I have that there now you may well miss I think I'm going to pop him there on the outside don't know why I'm calling him a him and our jellyfish is going to go there on a dimensional on a piece of dimensional I had to google colours for our underwater friends hopefully you'll just be able to see that one and then I have crab. So I'm going to stick our little crab there. Hide that bit there. And then we can actually, we can just add these. extra little fronds and I'm going to use that last one We'll have another crab there so they're having a little party and then I've got some melon mambo fish and I thought they could be swimming around let's just drop that through there so we can see, yep. yep. So that one's going to go there, and I think that one actually. Swimming there. And we've got another one. Ooh. I have to send out instructions 
<laughs> um, I'm looking at that through there, and I think we may have. Let's just, I think it needs a little fishy coming down through that way. Let's have his eye there. And then we have it and you've got space on the back to put a message um, I've got a little bit of glue on the back there but there we go I don't know which one you prefer and I obviously changed the colors up um, quite a lot I don't think do we want that one in there we could have that one in there as it's there isn't it there we go anyway thank you so much for watching i will have all of the um, dimensions and instructions um, on my blog and there'll be links to purchase these items if you are interested in buying from them and buying any of them so thank you for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you again next week bye for now